Well, howdy again, folks. Listen, uh, if people have been following along, uh, they might realize that I was a pit master in a previous career. Did a lot of smoking of uh, barbecue, southern barbecue, ribs, brisket, chicken, pulled pork, lots of those things. And yet you haven't seen very many, if any, uh, videos of me doing that. And the reason is that the recipes that I use, I still keep confidential. So I didn't want to tease everybody and show them how to do it and not give out the recipes. But a good friend of mine, local fella here, is a top flight competition barbecue champion. And he did some videos on television of how to cook Southern barbecue. And so with his permission and review, I'm going to show you how he does competition ribs. And it is fantastic. Watch for the technique, play with your own spices and rubs, but it is a fantastic way to have first class pork ribs. So enjoy. Welcome to the swamp. We're here with competitive barbecuer Swamp Daddy. Swamp Daddy, what do we got cooking today? How are you doing today, Katie? Today we're going to do courtesy of Lakeshore Meats. We've got some real nice meaty back ribs. And I'm going to show you how we prep these ribs for a competition. For aesthetic purposes, this doesn't look real pretty hanging on here. We cook for uh, judges that are really, really fussy. So we're just going to tuck this off. On a rack of ribs, there's a membrane. You take a butter knife, a screwdriver, anything sharp, and we're just going to go down in on the back side of that. See how the membrane is coming yeah. up on the top of yeah. the knife? We're just going to go down in through there. See how it's coming loose? What are the advantages of this membrane? What it does is I'm, it's going to let my rub and my sauce and all the fl different flavor profiles we're going to be putting, it's going to let it get back into the meat. Now at this point, we're going to flip the rack over. We're going to take some ballpark mustard. 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 All this really does, it's, it's a binding agent. It's going to act like a glue to hold our rub in place during the cooking process. So we're going to take a little bit of mustard. You're not going to taste the mustard once you it, cook it? It or? basically hides itself. We're just going to slather that up. A lot of the fun in barbecuing is experiment with different flavor profiles and find something that your family really enjoys and have some fun with it. So we're just gonna give this an even coating of rub on here. And that ballpark mustard's gonna help us keep that rub from falling off during the cooking process, okay? I'm gonna put it on both sides. Sort of evenly shake it along. The rub's gonna consist, there's gonna be some salt, some pepper, some garlic, some sugar. There's a whole bunch of different flavors that are going to build up. Now, at this point, we're going to take this rack of ribs and we're going to put it on the grill. Let's get it on the grill. No problem. We're going to just put it on here. The grill set at 225 to 230. Okay, ribs, when they're on the smoker, Katie, you're going to notice that things are starting to happen here. We've got some fat melting, but they tend to get a little leathery sometimes on top. I'd like to take straight up apple juice and we're just going to give it a light misting here that'll help us with our moisture content okay Katie we've had the grit ribs on for about an hour and a half we've spritzed them two or three times to keep them nice and moist now what we're going to do is just take some aluminum foil we're going to prop it up here I'm going to give them a little bit more of a spritzing with some apple juice and that's just going to give us a little bit more of that apple flavor you know how apple goes so well with pork Okay, we're going to seal them up and what's going to happen now is that apple juice is going to be in there with those ribs and it's just going to sort of gently steam that rack. In the last 30 minutes of the cooking process, Katie, we wait and we give the ribs a light glaze of sauce. We don't want to build it too heavy. We're going to give it another quick coat in 15 minutes. The reason we don't want to build the sauce up too heavy is because there's sugar in the sauce and if the sugar caramelizes and then it'll turn where it'll scorch. 
and that'll give us a bit of taste in our barbecue. So we want to keep everything sweet, sweet, sweet. So it's been 30 minutes. I'm getting pretty hungry. What do we got here, Swamp Okay, Daddy? these bad boys are done, Katie. Look at that beautiful set of competition ribs sitting there. Now you tell me that won't make a rabbit chase a hound dog. <laughs> oh, they do look good. Well, there you have it. If Swamp Daddy can teach me how to cue, so can you. We'll You're see you next time. You're welcome to the Swamp anytime, Katie. Oh, I'll be back. We're looking forward to it.